Daniel Wala, spokesperson of Atiku Okoa campaign council, has alleged that the All Progressive Congress knows what is coming after them in the next few days. According to him, he revealed that the former managing director of the Alpha Beta dropped a document that indicts Asuaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu on corrupt practices when he was Lagos State Governor. Wala alleged that this is why he likes the likes of Festus Keamo are pushing so hard to cover the storm that is coming against their party. He pointed out that there is also a group of lawyers who are about to petition against the candidacy of Bola Ahmed Tinumbu over the mismanagement of funds and that they have substantial evidences to back up their claims. He made mention of the drug allegation that has always been there on the head of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. Pantophobia, what it does is that it distorts your rational thinking. It tends to give you the sudden anxiety where a senior advocate will behave like a first year law student or a professor of law can behave like somebody who is just trying to get admission into school. That's case number one. Case number two, uh, this whole gamut of story that they are bringing, it is in a bid to cover up for what they know is about to come about an existing investigation in the EFCC, not fiction, existing investigation in EFCC that was submitted a few years ago by the former MD of Alpha Beta, where he indicted in his investigation corrupt practices by Asiwa Jubola Ametinibu, the flag bearer of the All Progressives Congress. And in that petition, he outlined criminal activities that if the EFCC is to act upon it today, Asiwaju will be arraigned in court. Welcome once again to this channel. If you're just coming across it, tap on the subscription button and please like and share this video. And for those who have been on this platform, I say a very big thank you and God bless. As you can see, um, right now we are in the season and everyone is trying to bring out the dearth. And I will tell you the truth, apart from some made-up stories, this is the time to listen very closely. Do not be fooled by he, he did not steal, he saved money, he stole this, he didn't steal that. Do not be fooled by Mr. Integrity or Mr. Humble. It is time for us to go deeper into the kind of candidate, the kind of person that will be the president of Nigeria. Now, that is PDP's spokesman. He is a rep of PDP. He has come to speak about how excellent Atiku Abubakar is, even though we know Atiku Abubakar is not clean. He is talking about Bola Metunumbu's criminal activities that has been put out there for everyone to see. This is not a joke. All of these candidates, all of them, plus one that hid his money abroad, plus the one that tried to present himself like a man of integrity, but hid his money behind some other companies. And we, with the knowledge of law, are not even saying arrest him because first you must investigate. The good thing for us is that this was submitted to them for years. For There is every reason to believe that they would have concluded investigation on that. And that's why these people did that because they know we're going to call on EFCC to act by arraigning this man in the court. But we haven't even done anything yet. You know that on the evidence of law, this man has a conviction from a court in Chicago. And they know that the Nigerian people, their mind is made up on the basis of that, that we cannot elect somebody as president who will be a subject of blackmail from the country. They also know that some journalists did an investigation and they are writing a petition to, to NDLEA of investigation of certain drugs that were discovered in Lagos. And that is why they felt that by creating a, a, a is it a, a, what do I call it, like a, you're trying to distract somebody from the main issue that is to come, they came up with this issue that has no basis in law, no basis in fact, no basis in ethics, but the frenzy. When they pushed this young man and he released those things, the media houses in Nigeria didn't see it as anything reasonable to carry it. So for days, this thing was not covered. Then they now said, let us hold a press conference and blackmail the media. The glib manner at which some of these 
political representatives speak. They speak from two sides of their mouth. These are people who know the truth and they say, oh, I'm doing my job. My job is to protect the lie. Of course, the same thing will be done for Bola Metunumbu in his own camp. And on the other hand, the same will be done for Achiku Abubaka. And the same is being done for Peter Obi. Although Peter Obi seems to have his own big mouth, his mouth is loud enough to say whatever it is that he needs to say to protect himself or to defend himself. Now, the next question, the next question that is being asked now, I'm talking about the man from the camp of Atiku Abubaka, is what about the allegation that has been put forward towards your own principal, the person that you are representing, the person that you are speaking so favorably about? And he went on to talk about how Atiku is a man of credibility and even the allegation that has been put forward has been thoroughly investigated by the Economic and Financial Commission, ICPC and the rest of the bodies that they have investigated and it has been cleared and he talked about the steps that has been taken to clean Atiku of any criminal charges. Let's listen to what he has to say and do not forget to like and share this video. Do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so. And because you say in the event that he's found culpable, now, the procedure for coming to that culpability is that if I report you to the law enforcement, the law enforcement will investigate, and they don't give a timeline for investigation. They can finish today, they can finish next month, they can finish six months' time. The reason is because in investigation, they will look at all my claims, they will now go to their database to look at your activities, and in the course of investigation, it might even create what we call a web, where it will connect to other individuals. Now, that process that it will last for them to come to that conclusion, it is not something that can be concluded before the election, which will then give that point you are saying whether he should uh, step away from that election. And even after the investigation is done, they will come up with a finding whether they have found credibility in that report or not. If they have not found credibility, it goes away. If they found credibility, then they will invite the person to come and now begin to answer questions on their findings. If he could not establish a concrete defense, then they will now proceed to charge him. So the question does not arise because the election would have been conducted, assuming that even their claim has legibility. But in this case, they are writing a petition on what has been investigated with a finding that there is no evidence of wrongdoing. So it does not even warrant a question in the given circumstance. It is an exercise in futility. It is a wild goose chase. It is an attempt to distract the Nigerian people from the real issue at hand. Whether the Nigerian people will vote somebody who has mental instability, whether the Nigerian people will vote another eight years of insecurity, bad economy, and corruption in the system, whether the Nigerian people are prepared to have a country where it can be called a pariah state, where the Nigerian people even would tolerate a campaign for the first time in history, where a political party established a militia, a militia they call Jagaban soldier or battalions, with uniform, in this very broad daylight. So it doesn't even arise at all. Jagaban soldier. Well, now, you know, Nigeria is divided in tribe, in religion, and many other things. But there is something that we all know that is common. Um, it is poverty. It is um, oppression. It is criminal activities. You know, we, I call it wickedness. Wickedness has different kinds of children and great-grandchildren. We have nepotism. We have what they call corruption, looting, and all of that. All of these candidates, their spokespersons or spokespeople, are making a case for them, making it appear like they are not criminals, making it appear like they are not thieves, making it look like their own candidate is a saint. Are we going to be, you know, wixed into this, you know, fanfare or wixed into these lies, this web of lies that is coming out from all of their mouth? Every one of them is either they are bringing out statistics and numbers which are correct in so, to some extent but when you look at the statistics that is being spewed out and everything the question all people want to ask is this is this person going to do the right thing because having knowledge of something does not mean you would do it. it's like a medical doctor a surgeon that knows that smoking can cause cancer can cause a lot of health issue but still smokes that's what it is so knowing something having knowledge of something does not mean that you I've chosen to do the right thing. The will to do the right thing is the problem. And we do not have that robust system, that strong system that will punish you or make sure that you do the right thing. Generally, human beings do not like to do the right thing. But if there is a punishment that is attached to wrongdoing, very efficient 
a punishment, a system. It's just that's how it's supposed to be. To counter check, counterbalance. I don't think we'll have so much to talk about. Anyway, what are your thoughts as regards this one? If you are new here, don't forget to like and share this video. And um, also, please uh, subscribe. Also, thanks for watching.